Now, State Capture Inquiry Chair Justice Raymond Zondo says allegations leveled against President Cyril Ramaphosa are not being ignored. He was responding to former ESCOM CEO Brian Molefe's comments that issues surrounding Glencore and Optimum are being swept under the carpet. Molefe claims Glencore tried to extort billions of rands and made Ramaphosa a shareholder at Optimum Mine. The former ESCOM CEO has returned to the commission to complete his testimony. Before we proceed, Chair, yes. <clears throat> just as we are recapping, um, I just want to remind the Commission that I did make a statement which uh, uh, made uh, substantive allegations to the extent that uh, I felt that uh, Glencore had been trying to extort $8 billion out of us and that uh, the President had been made a, well, the current President uh, had been made a shareholder uh, in one of, in the Optimum, actually, significant company that is at the center of everything that has happened here. I, I'm, I'm saying this now because the fact that while we were recapping, that was not mentioned. I hope that it is not being swept under the carpet and being uh, forgotten conveniently. Uh, just to make sure, Chairperson, that uh, it did register yeah. and that, uh, it has, that there is a, a certain amount of weight that will be attached yes. to what I said. Because it is at the center, Glencore and uh, Optimum mm. are at the center of all these files that are behind mm. Well, Mr. Mulefe, I'm surprised that you would think that it's being swept under the carpet, the carpet because you said it publicly. And you, you know from your own experience that when a witness uh, says something that implicates somebody in terms of the rules of the commission, that person is given a copy of their statement uh, so that they have a chance to respond. So I didn't expect you to think that it would be swept under the carpet. I know okay. some media said you, your, your evidence was stopped because you made allegations against the President, so 